hi friends welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another what i eat in a day to lose weight on ww freestyle i'm taking you along with me today on everything that i'm eating giving you points and calories just in case you count calories or are curious the number of calories within the healthy range for my 33 smart points that i get every day on the freestyle program a little bit of fun a little bit of dogs and a fall little tour of my home show you everything that i do to decorate for fall so if you want to see all of this then just keep watching Look what came in the mail, my Sip Spy box. So this is my customized tea delivery box. I love this. Sip Spy is awesome. I'll tell you guys a little bit about it. A lot of you have reached out and said that you also have this subscription service and you love it. But basically what Sip Spy is, is you go online, you take a quiz, you pick out the kinds of tea that you like, caffeine, no caffeine, what flavors you like. And then every month, Sip Spy will send you a customized box that'll be full of teas that fit within what you put on your quiz. So it's really cool. You get new tea every month to try. So fun. I've loved every single tea that I've been sent. So when you get your box, basically it comes like this. Here's all your teas. And then you do have a list here that talks about what's in your box. So for this month, I have the Kenyan black tea with mango. Okay, that sounds amazing. And you can see here that let's say that you really like the tea. They will give you a discount. Do you see that here? 15% off to purchase the tea from the manufacturer. So if you actually really like one of the teas in your box, you can buy more at a discount. So this one is a high caffeine tea. I also have Earl Grey, which I'm excited about as well. And that one is also high caffeine. And you can see that it, that one gives you a 20% off if you do wanna purchase some more from the manufacturer. Sweet matcha, this sounds amazing. This is medium caffeine. And I like the matcha because you just mix it with water. No tea bags needed, no steepers, nothing. You literally just mix it in with water. So really excited about that one. And then this one, I love peppermint anything. So this is peppermint leaves. And this one is literally peppermint leaves from the Pacific Northwest, which is where I live. And this one you can see is a caffeine free tea. So it's nice to be able to have that in the evening and is a midday breath freshener. So those are the four teas that I received. You can see how it says made for Jen. It's just very well put together. You generally get anywhere from four to five of each flavor of tea. So it looks like this is the peppermint leaves tea. So this is the first one in my box, which I'm excited about this one. I, like I said, I love peppermint anything. So it looks like I have two, three bags of the peppermint tea. So they're going to give you a variety, several bags of each. Looks like I also have my Earl Grey and it looks like I actually have four bags of Earl Grey. So this is a good size box this month. Oh, I found another one. So I actually have four peppermint and four Earl Grey. This is that Kenyan black tea with mango. This one I also have four. And then lastly is the matcha. So this one is cool because like I said, it's just a powder and you literally just mix it with water. I think I'm actually gonna have some right now. And with that one, I also received four packages. So four packages of each of the flavors of tea in your box. And it looks like in this box, it talks a little bit about the matcha tea that they sent, and then there's actually a promotional co code that you get 25% off and free shipping. So that's really cool. And then also, oh, if I can get it here, it looks like there is a little information about the African tea, which was the black tea with mango. 
And this says that, oh, look at this. It means to employ in Swahili. So Arji, if I'm pronouncing that right, employs over 60 women in Kenya to handcraft the packaging for the tea boxes. Every box is a unique piece of art. Our award-winning tea is handpicked on small scale farms in Kenya and 100% of the profits go back to Kenya. Okay, I love that so much. So look at this gorgeous package of tea. And again, you get a discount through Sips Buy. So if you do decide to buy this particular tea, you know that your proceeds go back to Kenya, but you also get a discount. So really, really neat. They usually have some sort of a cause that they promote in their box. So I am excited about this month's tea. In fact, I think I'm gonna brew myself up a cup of this matcha. So if you're interested in Sips Buy, like I said, you'll receive a box every month. I don't have an affiliate link or anything, but they did give me a code. I'll put it here on the screen. You actually will get $5 off your first box. So you can get a whole box delivered to your doorstep, new teas every month for only $10 for the first month. So check out Sips Buy. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you have the subscription, I love it. I usually go through all this tea before my next box comes. So. Thank you again for another month of great tea, Sips Buy. So I have been craving a protein shake. So I've decided that I'm going to have a protein shake for breakfast this morning, and I'm gonna pair it with a couple of eggs. So pumpkin season is here. I'm feeling some pumpkin. So I'm gonna be making my protein shake with pumpkin. Hang on, there's one more thing I wanna add. Syrup. So this is what I'm gonna be putting in my protein shake. So I'm gonna be using some of the Almond Breeze Vanilla Extra creamy almond cashew milk. This is so good. It's so thick and creamy. So good. And then, of course, I'm going to be adding in a little pumpkin pie spice because what pumpkin protein shake wouldn't be complete without this? So this is Dax. I love Dax seasonings. They are all natural. No MSG, nothing artificial. It is literally just fresh ingredients. So in this particular one, this is the pumpkin spice. There's cinnamon, spices, and honey, and then just some anti-caking agent. So all natural, no salt. So if you're looking for something before weigh-in, definitely recommend Dax. So I'm gonna be adding in some pumpkin spice. This honestly is my very favorite. I have tried every pumpkin spice on the market. This one, hands down, the best flavor, the richest, fullest flavor, yum. So definitely check out Dax. My 10% off code is here on the screen. It saves you 10% and gets you free shipping. So it's a double bonus from Dax. So I'm gonna be adding the pumpkin spice to my protein shake. Also some vanilla extract from Trader Joe's. And the protein powder that I'm using as always is the Devotion Nutrition. This is the Angel Food Cake. It has 20 grams of protein, no sugar. It has some MCT, which is a healthy fat gluten-free six enzyme formula and bloat-free which right that right there you guys huge in protein shakes most protein powders cause you to bloat devotion does not it is creamy it is sweet it is delicious so i'm going to be adding a scoop of this and one scoop it's a big scoop is only one smart point you can't beat it so i do have 10 percent off at devotion for you i will put the code here on the screen make sure that you click the link in the description box that is how you will apply the 10% off discount. Enter the code at checkout and you get 10% off. I love the brownie batter as well. Everything from Devotion is seriously top notch, but today we're gonna be using angel food cake. So awesome, awesome, awesome. I use this a lot to bake as well, so highly recommend picking that up. And then of course, some organic 100% pure pumpkin. And what I added at the last minute is just a little bit of this Jordan Skinny Sarps pumpkin spice just for that extra boost of pumpkin and sweetness. So let's put together my protein shake and make some eggs. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my protein shake because I've gotten a lot of questions on this in the past. So I'm just using my magic bullet. It makes it extremely, extremely easy. So the first thing that I'm going to do is scoop in some pumpkin. Now you can use as much or as little as you want. Pumpkin is zero smart points. So I would say that I'm adding maybe a third of a cup of pumpkin to my magic bullet and that's just going to help give it that creamy delicious pumpkin flavor i'm also going to add just a splash of my skinny syrups these are really really sweet so you don't need much in your drink and then i'm also going to add just a tiny little splash of my vanilla extracts 
And then this is where I'm going to put in my favorite part, which is my devotion powder. I'm almost out. I need to hop online and order another tub. So it is such a big scoop. Look at that. It's a big scoop. So we're going to go ahead and add in that. And then we are going to add in our pumpkin pie spice. As you can see, I just ordered this one. So got to stock up for pumpkin season, you know. So go ahead and add as much or as little as you'd like. I love a lot of flavor. So I'm adding about a teaspoon of the pumpkin pie spice. And then I'm also going to add some almond milk and probably roughly half of a cup of my almond milk. And then lastly, I just pulled some ice cubes out of my freezer here. So I'm going to add, I don't know, four of those to my protein shake. And then I love the magic bullet. It makes it so incredibly easy. So there is my shake. I'm going to give it just kind of a quick shake up just to kind of get everything kind of preliminarily mixed. You can always go back in and add extra milk if need be after blending so let's get this blended up so this is what it looks like yum i'm going to put this in the fridge while i make my eggs and then i'll be back to show you my breakfast and give you the smart points so here is my breakfast i'm so excited so here is that protein shake that i just made up so the points on this i'm going to count one point for the almond milk because i did put in at least a half of a cup and one smart point for the protein powder so my protein shake here is two smart points everything else that i added was zero and then i have two eggs that i just scrambled up with nothing added to them but salt and pepper so that is zero so this breakfast two smart points two for the protein shake zero for the eggs i'm so excited what's happening I feel like every time you guys are in my video, this is exactly where you are. Yeah, baby, you dug out my blankie again, and you're all cozy looking out the window. And then this guy over here licking himself. Diesel, hey, buddy, Diesel. All right, well, he's in bed as well. So I feel like this is where they always are, either here or begging for food in all of my videos. It is morning snack time. I am hungry. It's about 9.30 and I ate breakfast at about 7, a little before 7. So it's time for a little mid-morning snack. This is the banana chocolate cream built bar, one of my favorite flavors. My all-time favorite is the black cherry, which by the way is still available. Not for much longer, but it's still available at the present time. So definitely grab that before it's gone. These bars are three smart points. They literally taste like a candy bar. I'm not even kidding. They are that amazing. They are 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, six fiber, four sugar, and four fat, and literally three smart points. And they tied you over with that protein and that fat, keeps you full, and you can't beat a protein bar that actually tastes good. So I highly recommend Built Bar. This is always my morning snack every single day there isn't a day that goes by that i don't have this as my morning snack and again this is the banana chocolate cream it literally tastes like a chocolate dip banana from the fair so this is my morning snack if you're interested in built bar on the screen is my code it'll get you 10 percent off and free shipping and the best part about it is you can use it over and over again so that is awesome so head over to built bar grab the black cherry before they're gone grab the banana grab all the flavors and this my friends three smart points to tide me over to lunch I wanted to take you guys around and show you what I've set out for fall. So this will be up for September. I'll swap it out to Halloween and then I'll decorate for Thanksgiving. So I picked this up at Hobby Lobby actually this year. It says, welcome to our patch. It's this super cute steak. I love it. I want to say I paid just a little over $10 for it. So it's next to my front porch here. I still have my flowers out, of course, from summer, but I always have her and my little scarecrow out here on the front porch. She's so cute. So these will be replaced with pumpkins eventually. So I have her on the porch. And then on my front door, I have my autumn wreath, which I love. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. These pumpkins, squash, leaves, berries, love it. This is my formal living room. So when you come into my house, I have a formal living room and then we have just a traditional living room over here. So in my formal living room, I don't do a whole lot. 
I do have this cute little Harvest Blessings star on the wall. Normally there's a metal C there, so I just take it down for fall and put up the Harvest Blessings. This is also from Hobby Lobby, but I got this last year. It's super cute. And then the other thing that I do generally do in this area, just so you know, hashtag dog mom life is I decorate my little table right here and it has this mirror above it that stays all year but it actually looks really cute with fall so I do decorate this table for all of the season so on here I have my set of three glass pumpkins I actually picked these up at Costco a couple of years ago. I want to say it was $10 for all three. They're so pretty. And then I have this cute little scarecrow here that says autumn greetings. I got this at Rite Aid a couple of years ago. These orange candles are here all year round. They just really go nicely with fall. And then I draped some cute little glittery leaves over my table here. I picked these up at Michael's a few years ago. And then I added this cute little Happy Harvest Owl. He is adorable. He is from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago as well. So that makes this cute little table as you walk in my living room. It's very fall. And this is my TV living room or my second living room in my home. Very basic. In the corner over here, I generally have a plant so I just replaced that with this cute little wicker pumpkin honestly I don't even know where I got that and then this cute little happy fall that I, or hello fall that I got from the Dollar Tree last year and then all I do in here very simple is on my TV stand I have a string of those leaves and then there are some extra little wicker pumpkins down on the shelf it's pretty dark it's hard to see but there's a couple of those and then over on my table here i do have this cute little scarecrow with these bendable feet it's so cute i got this at hobby lobby last year and then this cute little scarecrow that says harvest from the dollar tree last year the majority of my fall decor actually is in my kitchen and dining area so let's start over here with my dining room table so on my table, I have this really cute fall runner. It has these kind of 3D leaves. Oh, it's so cute. I've had this for years. I wanna say I got this at Walmart, maybe three, four years ago. And on the center of my table, I have this adorable metal glittery pumpkin. This is from Hobby Lobby last year. And then I have these cute little canisters that I've filled with pine cones and little mini pumpkins. These canisters are from Michael's. Same with the pine cone mix and these I've had for several years. They say good harvest pumpkin. So that's kind of what I do in the center of my dining room table. It's just so, so cute. And then I hang this up here on my French doors. It says Harvest Blessings, Corn Maze, Pumpkin Pie, Apple Cider, Hay Rides, Thanksgiving. And this is actually from Hobby Lobby last year. And it's just really cute. It just hangs on the curtain rod of my French doors. And then moving into my kitchen here on my counter, I have this cute sign that says meet me at the pumpkin patch. I actually picked this up at TJ Maxx just about a week ago. So it's super cute, goes really well with kind of the decor in my sink area. I have my cute little pumpkin dish soap holder from Bath and Body Works. Again, this is from a few years ago. You saw me haul this thankful and blessed and I wanna say this is from TJ Maxx. It's here in my window. I think it's so cute. And again, it goes really well with the colorings of the pumpkin sign. And then I also have my Mrs. Myers apple cider soap. And then this Hello Fall pumpkin that you saw me haul it from TJ Maxx as well. So I really like how this all kind of coordinates together the colors here on the sink area. And then I always have a fall towel, that's a given. And then over here on the wall, I have this cute little autumn greetings wooden sign with wooden leaves. This I got at a thrift store last year for like $2, it's super cute. It actually goes really well just in this space in my kitchen. And then of course I have fall flowers, as you know from Trader Joe's. And then the last little area over here, is I have these cute little pumpkins. These are also from the Dollar Tree last year. And my little hello fall sign that is from TJ Maxx. So that's it, just a little bit, little overlay of what I do to kind of decorate for fall. I don't do a whole lot, my husband hates clutter, so this is even a little much for him. But it just kind of brings in the sense of fall to my home. 
So here's my lunch today. It's about 11.45. I'm eating super quick before I head out to my open house. So what I'm having is some of my potato soup that I made in the Instant Pot. You guys will be seeing this shortly in um, a what I or an Instant Pot recipe series. Oh my gosh, you guys, this soup is so delicious. This entire bowl is only six smart points. So, so good, so incredibly good. And then I have one serving of the Tyson. These are these right here, Tyson black and chicken strips. I got these at Costco. You can have one serving for zero smart points. And then in this, I have the pumpkin pudding that I made in meal prep that you guys saw on Meal Prep Monday. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. This entire cup of pudding right here, one smart point. And then I'm gonna be counting an extra smart point for the Ready Whip only because I put quite a bit on my pudding. So my pudding is two smart points, my chicken is zero, and my soup is six. So this entire lunch is only eight smart points. I got my Protein Wise order today. I've been out of my sweet nothings for a while and I'm obsessed with them, so I definitely had to stock up. So well, here's what I got. So I picked up one pack of the Peanut Nougat Cluster Sweet Nothing. So these are chocolates, and these chocolates are outstanding. They are very similar to what you would pick up at a chocolate store out of a case for really expensive and a lot of points. And they are literally one smart point. They are so good. This Peanut Nougat Cluster tastes exactly like a Snickers. It is so good, so incredibly good. I love these, love, love. They help with my sweet tooth. I have one or two after a meal and I am satisfied. So I picked up one pack of peanut nougat. This one's one of my favorites and this is the chocolate covered caramel. It tastes just like a delicious piece of caramel covered in an amazing milk chocolate. So I picked up four bags of the caramel cause I do actually really, really like that one. Caramel crispy, so this one is basically caramel middle with crispy rice chocolatey coating, delish. And then I also picked up three of the cookies and cream. I really like this one and I haven't had this one in a while, so I decided to revisit it and picked up three packages of that. And then I also got four packages of the caramel pecan cluster. I love this one. Turtle, you guys, this is a legit turtle. So I picked up four packs of the caramel pecan cluster. Also, I wanted to try this. I've seen this on their website a few times. This is the Protein Wise Chocolate Chip pancake mix and what's great about these is they are individual little packets so portion control is really easy because it's literally one packet tells you exactly how to prepare your pancakes and of course all the points are here on the screen so I'm going to give you the points for one package which is a serving so I wanted to try these they have some protein in these they've got some chocolate what could be better so I grabbed that she also sent me, it looks like the blueberry pancake mix. So I'm excited to try this one as well. They, she always sends free samples. So this was one of my free samples. And also she sent me the chocolate crisp bar as my other free sample. And I wanna say these are five points, but this points will be here on the screen for you. 15 grams of protein in this. And these crisp bars are really good. And then I also, as you can see, really like the Choco Right peanut butter cups. These are the 35 calorie a piece cups. Now there's quite the stir about these. They sell a peanut butter cup in a two pack for 100 calories. Those ones are three to four smart points. This is the 35 calorie per piece. There are two pieces in a package. If you scan this or put the nutritional information into your calculator, you will come up with two smart points for two pieces or one smart point a piece. So there's all your nutritional information for one piece. So I love these because they're in a little package, easy portion control, you grab a package, you have two peanut butter cups for two points. So I picked up five boxes of that. And on the same note of Choco Right, I grabbed this, I have never tried this. This is the Milk Chocolate Pecan Cluster. So I'm feeling like it might be kind of like the Sweet Nothing Pecan Cluster, just the Choco Right brand. So I wanna try these. So far I've loved everything from Choco Right. Same story, two points for the entire package. So if you're looking to pick these up, watch what is sold in your local store. They are the more calorie dense packages, the 100, the 120, the 130. Protein Wise sells the 35 calories. So if you're wanting the one smart point peanut butter cup, one smart point milk chocolate cups from 
right get these off of protein wise sweet nothings as well are sold on protein wise so that is my protein wise haul down in the description box is a link if you click the link it'll apply ten dollars worth of free product to your order you can get anything that you want and by the way that is like three packages of sweet nothings for free you can't beat it so definitely use the link if you want to order from protein wise hey guys so i'm at my open house it is just about one o'clock i just got set up lit a candle made it all homey in here hopefully we have a good turnout we have a couple things against us first it's been dumping rain on and off pretty much the entire day today and it is the first time that the seattle seahawks play which where i live that is the team that this area follows so i'm hoping that the rain and the seahawks don't stop people from coming but i brought my laptop i have some editing and a few other things that i want to be doing i did bring oh my propel so that i had something to drink while i was sitting here and i also brought my afternoon snack and i'll show that to you when i eat it it may not be until i actually head out of here so despite everything against me wish me luck hey guys i just got out of my open house it's about 3 30. i'm hungry so this is going to be my afternoon snack this is a healthy eating all the time and go bar this one is in the low fat peanut butter apple pie protein bar I love these. Their ingredients are outstanding. Oats, peanut butter, sunflower, whey protein. I mean, literally all whole amazing ingredients. They are six smart points and they are worth every one of those six smart points. They are so incredibly delicious. If you're interested in these, I don't have an affiliate link, but I do have a 12% discount that was offered by the owner of the company. So I'm gonna put that here on the screen for you. These are linked down in the description box below. Uh, you guys have to try these bars. They're amazing. So this is my little snack for six points. For dinner tonight, I'm going to be making a sheet pan steakhouse dinner. I am so excited about this. So let me show you what is in our dinner. We're going to be using avocado oil. You could use olive oil, whatever you have on hand. Minced garlic, salt and pepper, some sort of a steakhouse seasoning. I'm going to be using this Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse thyme you can use fresh or dry light butter one bag of finger lean or any type of mini potatoes fresh parsley steak i have two of the petite sirloin steaks and a pack of asparagus so let's get started on tonight's dinner so to get started on tonight's dinner, we have some chopping to do. So we are going to chop up our potatoes. I'm just going to cut them into smaller pieces so that they're easier to eat and they cook faster. Also, we're gonna chop up some parsley and some asparagus. So let's get started. need to do is get our potatoes ready they need to go in the oven first so here are my potatoes I'm going to add one teaspoon of my avocado oil to my potatoes and then I'm also going to add some salt and some pepper and then we're just gonna give this a quick stir together and we'll get ready to put it on our sheet pan. This is the first thing that's going into the oven so that these can get cooked down a little bit before we add our steak and veggies as they'll definitely cook a lot faster. So on our large pan here, we are gonna go ahead and put our potatoes and then this is actually going to go into the oven at 425 just until our potatoes start to cook through. In my bowl, I have one quarter cup of my, I can't believe it's not butter light. I did let it sit out for a little while to soften it. To that, I added about a tablespoon of my minced garlic and we're basically making the butter sauce. So we're going to add some thyme to it and again to your liking i also chopped up some parsley so i'm going to start with about half of it we can always go back and add a little more and then just a little more pepper and we're going to give this a mix till everything is nice and combined and go ahead and set this aside and then next we're going to get our asparagus ready to be added to our sheet pan and cut up our steak while our potatoes are in the oven i'm going to go ahead and cut up my steak i'm actually going to add this 
to my sheet pan. The original recipe wants you to put it on a barbecue and cook your steak that way, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add it directly to my sheet pan. It's going to be a lot easier and quicker to cook everything. So I'm removing all of the fat, and then I'm just going to cut it into strips, and it'll be ready to go in onto the sheet pan when I add on the asparagus, my garlic butter sauce. This should be really, really good. So I'm just gonna get my steak cut up and ready to go again while our potatoes are in the oven. Once your potatoes start to cook and get a little bit soft, we're going to add a few more things to our pan here. So first we're going to add our trimmed asparagus. So I'm just going to kind of lay this out in between the potatoes on the sheet pan. I want to cook all of this. So kind of as even or one layer that you can with your asparagus. Just intermix it with your potatoes. Oh, yum, this looks so good. What an easy dinner, too. Everything literally on one pan. To that, we're going to go ahead and add our pieces of steak. So I'm just going to, oh, and you know what? Actually, before we do our pieces of steak, let's go ahead and season them with a little bit of our steak seasoning. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of that over the top of the pieces of steak. And then let's go ahead and just drop them on our pan as well. This looks so good. So you could put this back in the oven on broil. I'm just going to go ahead and put it back in on the 425 that it's been on for the potatoes. The steak and asparagus won't take very long to cook, and that allows the potatoes enough time to cook through as well. And again, the original recipe does call for you to cook the steak on the barbecue and then just pop it under the broiler, but I'm just going to do it all in one pan because it's raining, so we're gonna go this route. So there you have it, and then the last thing I'm going to do is take that garlic butter, and I'm just gonna kinda drop it. You can see I'm just gonna kinda drop it over the top of the steak, the potatoes, the asparagus, and it should get nice and melted and mixed with our food here. And then what I'll do midway through the cooking process is I will actually take my pan and kind of shake it up so that this butter has a chance to get on all of the different components here. So get this back in the oven at 425 and I'll be back when I pull it out of the oven. All right, dinner's out of the oven. Look at how amazing this looks. So this pan only makes four servings, so you get quite a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate up my quarter of the pan and I'll be back to show you our completed dinner and to give you the smart points. So here's one quarter of my steak sheet pan dinner. This looks amazing. Full size dinner plate, it fills it up. You have steak, potatoes, asparagus, and a delicious garlic butter sauce. This entire serving is only six smart points. You don't even need anything else. So this, my friends, is my six smart point dinner. You guys want some beans after dinner? All right, easy buddy. Easy, good boy. Well, you want a bean? Yeah. Oh, good girl. How about one more? Bubba. Bubba. Good boy, and you too, Squirt. You too. Good job, guys. Good job. So here's what I'm gonna be having for dessert tonight. This is my standard Smart Cake Parfait. So what I'm having tonight is the Light and Fit Greek Yogurt in Pumpkin Pie. Tis the season, so I have that. And then I also have some Fat-Free Ready Whip. I did just kind of mix that in layers. And lastly, I'm gonna be using the Cinnamon Smart Cake. I really like this, especially this time of year. It's really good with any of the seasonal flavors of yogurt, pumpkin, caramel apple really good with vanilla. You can purchase the Smart Cakes on the Smart Baking Company website. They are the same company that does the Smart Buns. So if you use my code here on the screen, you'll get 10% off of your order. Highly recommend the Smart Cakes. They are only one Smart Point for an entire little cake, and my favorite way to eat them is in the parfait. So in the My Parfait, I have one Smart Cake, one container of the pumpkin yogurt and some fat free ready whip. So this is my four smart point dessert. Thank you for joining me on this what I eat in a day to lose weight on WW Freestyle. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. It was a great day. It was rainy and dreary, but nonetheless a great day. The recipe for dinner is linked down in the description box. It was incredibly 
delicious a must must make especially if you have a hubby like mine who gets pretty tired of chicken make sure that you check out this steak sheet pan recipe delicious thank you guys so much for watching if you're new i upload a what i eat in a day every single wednesday so make sure that you subscribe hit that little bell that way you'll be notified whenever i upload so you don't miss a single video thumbs up this one and comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this, what I eat in a day. And also please let me know if there's anything specific that you would like to see in future, what I eat in a days, not food related necessarily, but other fun things that I can do or take you along with me. Thanks so much for watching guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.